So it's been raining, it's been snowing, the snow is melted, and so Chris and I are just ready to get outside and ride our bikes. So he's been trying to convince me for a very long time to go grocery shopping with our bikes. Uh, so we're gonna ride up there today, get some groceries. We've already made our first. And he also said I can't make it up this hill in my beach cruiser, so we're gonna take that out as well and uh, see if I can make it up the hill to the grocery store. So, got the list, got my helmet, let's roll. See you pups. So we just got a new trailer uh, to pull behind our bikes and in an attempt to drive less, we're gonna be making our first grocery shopping trip today on our bikes. My pants immediately started to snag on my front chain ring and on my bottle cage, so I stopped and tucked them into my socks. Uh, next time I'll, I'll remember to use a Velcro strap to keep everything contained. And the journey continues as we ride past Joe Creason Park, which is one of our favorites, and it's the, where the 2018 Cyclocross Nationals are going to be. Oh, she's racing. <laughs> As we pull up to Kroger, we realize that there's no place designated for locking up our bikes. Something so simple as a bike rack could be the difference between somebody driving their car or riding their bike every day. Um, but we're already here, so we just find what we can to lock our bikes up to. It happens to be this uh, Culligan water bottle exchange. These might just be cheap commuter bikes, but that doesn't mean we want to get them stolen. All right, let's go do some shopping. I just follow you around. <laughs> We're trying to be green and use our own grocery bags, but the weight sensor on the platform doesn't account for your cotton bag sitting on it. So every time you put a new bag up there, it sets off the little alarm and calls over the attendant. So after this fiasco, we decided that uh, next time we're gonna go through the checkout line and have someone do it for us. I love sharing stop signs with cars too. Man, that was great. We just went grocery shopping. Woohoo! Did our first grocery shopping trip with a trailer on the bikes. And it's heavy. Look at this guy.
It was our first time using a trailer and our bicycles to go grocery shopping. Uh, and it was a pretty good experience. Pulling the trailer full of groceries was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Something that I was thinking about is we have a pretty big hill that we have to go up on the way to get there. And we're just lucky that we're coming down the hill on the way home. Because uh, I think going up a hill with a trailer full of groceries would be pretty hard. Oh yeah. Yeah, so just something to keep in mind when you're planning your route to the grocery store. Just uh, make sure that there are no like big hills to go up on the way home because the trailer and the groceries are, it's a little bit harder to pull than you, than you would think. So you just wanna keep that in mind. I just feel pretty good about being able to ride our bikes to the grocery store and not have to drive the car. That's just one less trip that we're doing by car and just that much less impact uh, that we're having on the environment and it also saves us money and we can get a little bit of a workout in all at the same time.